Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Trophy at the Babbling Belgian, and welcome to Final Fantasy VII. Not just Final Fantasy VII, but the remake. And not just the remake, but the demo of the remake. So, technically, this is welcome to Final Fantasy VII Remake Demo. Today, I'm gonna start my playthrough of this demo, and it's gonna be nostalgia free because I feel like I'm one of the very few people who never played Final Fantasy VII. That is not to say that I don't have any experience with Final Fantasy. Uh, I've played plenty of them. I've played uh, 10, 10 2, 12, 13, 13 2, 13 3, and 15. So yeah, I've played my fair share of Final Fantasy games, but for some reason I never came around to actually playing some of the older Final Fantasy games. So maybe this is going to be the only nostalgia free playthrough of this demo i don't know might be that there are other people who never played final fantasy 7 but i feel like if i check on the internet i feel like i'm always the only one who never played this so this is going to be an entirely fresh take on final fantasy 7 um i can actually purchase the entire version here wait what oh options that is interesting. Start game. If I press start, I actually go to the purchase screen. That is smart move, Square Enix. Squart is smart move. Um, let's invert the Y axis because I play like that. Experience battles as well as story. Of course, it's apparently the highest difficulty setting, but um, okay, normal it is. Now, even though I've never played Final Fantasy VII, I of course know many of the characters by name just because of exposure. Um, so I know that there's a lot of conversation about this specific character. So she does look very good in this remake though. So this is, depending on your point of view, Eris or Aerith. I'm um, guessing we might not even see in this demo how they pronounce her name in this version. This looks gorgeous, although it's clear, because this is also a, is this, because it looks like the uh, Resident Evil engine almost. The style of graphics feels like the same way the cinematics in Resident Evil 2 remake were actually created. I'm not 100% sure if they would, if Square Enix would have access to that same engine, but it looks very similar. But yeah. The flower girl. Looking up. So yeah, I do of course know Final Fantasy, so I know there's going to be a lot of cutscenes. So many of, of course that I, for once, I'm going to talk over cutscenes. I'm going to try not to talk over any dialogue. But look at that. I mean, even though I've never played it, I do of course know, I think it's Midgar, right? Which is um, a reference to Norse mythology, because it kind of looks like how Midgard is usually represented as well. There we go. The music kicking in. And it is the same music, I think. Or, of course, remastered versions of the music. Oh, I forgot the Final Fantasy game that I also played, which is actually the most relevant one. Uh, I've played Final Fantasy VII... Crisis Core, I think it's called, on the, the PSP, which was about Zack. So I definitely know the world, um, but I just don't know what happens in this game. So I know what happens to Zack, the, uh, well, not the original owner of Cloud Sword, but the second owner of Cloud Sword, if you've played that game. It was a pretty good game, okay. I think his uh, buddy got uh, grabbed there. There we go. Ooh, flying kick to the stomach. And okay, fellas. Ah, and that's Barrett, I think. And it is guy, the machine gun arm guy. Get down here, Murray. Yeah, Barrett. There we go. That's an entrance. I mean, 
We can talk all day about the physics of his sword, but I mean, what are the physics on his hair? Look at that. How does that stay up there? The destruction of Mako Reactor 1. Okay. Can I talk to you? No, but... Okay. We got more security officers. Um, should we introduce ourselves or... That sword is so ridiculous. Square to attack with Cloud Sword. Hold square to unleash an attack capable of hitting multiple nearby enemies. That sounds like the best option, Dan. You're coming with us. Don't think so. There we go. Okay, they're dead. I just held square for two seconds and they, they just died. But did they drop something? There were sparkly. Why are there sparkly bits all over the place? Do, 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 do. I like the music. This is awesome. I mean, that was just as good in Crisis Core. Ah, that's Jesse. My wife to be is called Jesse. Hi, guys. Does this work the same? Oh, uh, the ATB gauge gauge fills as time passes and by attacking with square. Once the bar is full, you, your character can perform special actions. Charges can be used immediately or save. Try attacking the enemy to fill the gauge. Okay. Go ahead. Okay, you can expand ATB gauge charges to perform battle commands, such as using abilities, magic, or items. Okay, so you need that to use items as well. Press X and try and use one of the commands. Okay, so that actually pauses the game. Abilities. Focus trust. I shouldn't probably do that on this guy. But I can do that on this guy. There we go. Ah, I, could, I can select my target even. I did get hit a little bit there. Ooh, two more guys. You got this. Yeah, what he said. I mean, you're yelling to the security officers that I was supposed to distract. So, ah, uh, guarding and evading. You can defend against enemy attacks by pressing R1 or Circle to evade. A successful guard reduces the amount of damage suffered and also charges your ATB gauge. You're coming with us. Can't get started. Uh, burst fire. I should probably guard against that. And um, do what is brave? Jump into the air and strike your foe with a powerful attack. Yes, security officer brave. Uh, hey, ooh, that was a one-hit kill. Oh no, you won't. And there we goes. Items. I got a potion. Okay, potions are for healing, I suppose. So, are you guys gonna have, have run off, or are you just around the corner again? Triangle to open chests and doors. Okay, fair enough. Let's do that. A pity boo. Two potions. That's also nice. Um. Oh, the music. Ooh. Another one. Found a hidden chest. Mineral water clear icicle. Two grenades. Oh my god, are the trains running on time? Ooh, I think that second one is delayed. Might be because I killed all the security guards. Boxes! A Moogle medal and MP with a Mako shard. Can't go over there. Guys, just move on! And another potion. There we go. No need to run over it to pick that up. Apparently. Hello, fellas! So what's Soldier Boy's deal? Is he one of us now? He's got balls, this, uh, uh, what was his name again? Cloud. Cloud Strife. Right. And he isn't a soldier anymore. Still, he's a professional, unlike the rest of us. I'm glad to have him. <laughs> okay, thumbs up. This is a one-time gig. When it's done, we're done. Uh, uh, uh. So I'm guessing the red bandanas mean they're kind of part of uh, a resistance yeah, network? Ooh. Here we go. Looks are what people notice first. Guess I'm not on the same page as people. I'd say you're not even reading the same book. Enough. We're done here. Okay. Or even the same. Give it a rest. <laughs> I do like Jesse. She's she's really nice. Hello, fella. Wedge. So that was uh Briggs, Jesse, and Wedge. And then of course Barrett. Hello, buddy. You look so cool. A lot cooler than Cloud. Because, I mean, Barrett has sunglasses. Any progress with the door? Come on. 
Nobody do something this crazy just for money. They may not think you're a true believer, but you know what I think? Not interested. What? I wouldn't say not interested to the guy with the grenade launcher, but that might just be me. Oh, come on, that lighting. That is really pretty. So, as far as I can tell, the actual Final Fantasy remake will only be a part of the original money, game. Every last gill. So Gil is Gil, Gil is money in this in this uh, in this universe. Cloud doesn't really have a, a character, does he? He just seems to be gruff. Oh look, the title screen. And that's the reactor, I suppose. Is there something over here? Nope. Cloud is too wide to actually go through there. Okay. You can press. Okay, that's just lock on. Fine. Oh, I should probably not walk onto the, 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 the dog. And then um, Raver on the dog. Oh, wow. The dog actually does more damage than the. Uh, Aha! So I can stagger enemies and that causes more damage. There we go. I don't heal up in between uh, fights apparently, so I should probably use a potion. There we go, it doesn't even heal me up to full health. But yeah, I can get used to that sound because it looks, it sounds really, really good. Another chest with a bottle of ether, so that's... Okay. Uh, I still have an ability point, right? No, okay, I don't. And there we go. You can actually juggle if you uh, hold square for a second. Which is really cool. Oh, wow. Um, hello, fella. Significantly increases stagger. Focus trust on the guard goal. There we go. Stagger the dog. I don't know why the dogs have more uh, health than the armored soldiers, but there we go. There we go. Card dog defeated. And then we can break open those boxes. Uh, yeah, sure. I don't know what the camera's doing, but it's looking up. There we go. Item. More MP with a Mako shard, since this is the reactor. I suppose that Mako is some sort of, I don't know, item? Resource. Let's crawl through that. There we Not go. Not so fast. We've got company. And okay. Oh, that dog looks horrifying. By the way, up close. This will be quick. I'm just gonna stagger the dog again. Uh, focus trust on the guard dog. Oh wow, what the hell just happened there? I got pushed back by the dog or something. Or maybe there was a grenade at my feet, that might also be the case. Um, Braver on the security officer. Okay, I wasn't close enough. There we go, stagger from the back. Apparently damage from the back does increase stagger quickly. Which is classic as well. And I should really use him at There we go, let's heal up. 350 health. Hmm. Suppose I can now go through the hole. There we go. Slight ducking animation. Boxes! Nothing in the boxes. That's disappointing. But uh, apparently the, the squad has moved on without. Ooh, gold. Ah, I saw, I saw Jesse in the back there. That was really nice. And there we go, double kill in one go with the uh, the sweeping attacks. And you open up the box, thank you, two more potions. Really needed that, because I spent two all already. Um, okay, see you later. So we need to follow Barrett, Jesse and Briggs. Ooh. Definitely a reactor one. 
soldiers may attack on command, but I hear they make good guard dogs too. Bet you've seen a few reactors. So how do we get to the bridge above Mako storage? <clears throat> Ain't holding out on me, are you? Stamp scared to bite the hand that fed him? Or is he a loyal little doggy? <clears throat> Have it your okay. way, Mutt. We can do this with you, or we can do this without you. Different reactor, different layout. Depends when it was built. Never seen one like this, but I'll manage. So he clearly had flashbacks of some sort. And since they're calling him Soldier, but Soldier in the subtitles is with all caps, I assume that's part of some military group aside from just being a, a country soldier. I'm watching you. Okay, because Barrett is apparently very, very mad. I mean, let's talk to Jesse. Don't you worry. Biggs will have the door open soon. It's Biggs. Uh, I said Briggs. I'm sorry. Uh, sorry, Jesse. Let's talk to Biggs. In three, two. Damn, I'm good. You are? Okay. Door is open, so I'm assuming you are. Door! The, uh, okay, why didn't you enter with me? It's over! That's no, it's not. Life. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. Um, every character has a unique ability which you can activate with triangle. With Cloud's mode shift ability, you can switch between his balanced operator mode and his attack oriented punisher mode. Press triangle to try it out. So in punisher mode, Cloud moves more slowly, but Square unleashes a more powerful attack than usual. In addition, Cloud launches a counter blow every time he guards against an enemy's melee attack. You cannot, however, guard against range attacks or magic. When you evade such attacks, you will switch back to operator mode. Okay. We can take it. Make it right. Oh yeah, that indeed is a lot more powerful. So I need to switch if I want to. Yeah, you're back. He always knows just what to say. Cut it out. Um, then let's talk to Jesse, I suppose. It's a good thing I know someone who can get us the passcodes. <sighs> Pity no one else at command will talk to us, but what can you do? <sighs> and we're good. She is really pretty, by the way. Careful in there. <laughs> but she can clearly also kick ass, which is great. Uh, I don't know. You, you guys to finally catch up. Some more MP. I've never used magic before, which is probably a problem. Security is only going to get tighter, so be ready. We can't afford any more mistakes. Like like which mistakes? The mistakes you made? Ooh, there's another box here. Missed the box. Let's open that up. Another tuft of Phoenix down, so that's a revival item. Looks like the elevator's on another floor. Mind pushing that button? Uh sure, Jesse, for you anything. There we go. <laughs> so you know Tifa, right? It's not really my business, but are you guys close? Uh, and there he goes again. Tifa and I. Man, he says a lot. They're not gonna ever accuse Cloud for, of babbling. That's just something for me. Isn't Bates coming? Uh, apparently not. Ooh. That looks pretty. I have no idea how long this demo is, by the way. We're gonna play through it, but... No idea. I'm guessing this is the headquarters of the bad guy. Or These the boss. These rats appear to call themselves Avalanche, sir. Heidegger. We are currently investigating whether they belong to the same group that made the attempt on your life. Rest assured, our inquiries will not take much longer. So typical bad guy, big this bushy beard, so scar over the eye. The planet dry. While you sleep, while you eat, while you sit, it's here sucking up Mako. It doesn't rest and it doesn't care. You do realize what Mako is, don't you? Mako uh. is the lifeblood of our world. The planet bleeds green like you and me bleed red. The hell you think's gonna happen when it's all gone, huh? Answer me! The animations on Barrett are really exaggerated. And pretend you can't hear the planet crying out in pain? I know you can! Well, same as the dialogue. You really hear that? Damn straight I do. Get help. 
Say that again. Get help. I think it was pretty clear. I'd worry less about the planet and more about the next five seconds. Save the screaming for later. I mean, he has a point. Especially in this uh, situation. Mako, so it's Mako reactor. Those turrets. Are you not worried about the, the turrets? You listening, Merc? One false move. Can you not point? And that happens. Well, so much for having Cloud do all the fighting. There are some places a sword just can't reach. Okay. Was that a double entendre? There with him for me, would you? She's getting awfully close. <laughs> yeah, I've been mean, uh, more I, money. Yeah, indeed. I don't know where all the ammo goes in Barrett's gun, by the way. I know there's like a little magazine there, but that can't hold too many rounds of a minigun. Can you shoot that thing as well? I mean, you saw the turrets, right? Barrett Wallace ally joins. Barrett specializes in ranged attacks. Holding down square releases a sustained burst of automatic fire when equipped with a ranged weapon. Barrett can fire from safe locations and hit enemies that Cloud cannot reach with his sword. Gonna throw your sword at him? Let the man with the gun do his work. These tin cans ain't got nothing on me. Ah! Ah! I mean, not much else I can do here. Press triangle while in control of Barrett to deliver a heavy hitting attack that fills a large portion of his ATB gauge. Once unleashed, it takes a long time to recharge this attack. Press and triangle, however, will speed up the process. Wait, what? There goes another one. Ah, so you can recharge it like that. And there we go. So you can switch to different characters depending on the battle situation. You can also stick with the same character and issue orders to party allies. So that's Cloud now. Ooh, wow, what the... Can you move towards the enemy, Cloud? Thank you. There we go. Um, any more stuff? I don't know how I can see... Can I see my... Okay, now I can see the health bars. Cloud is looking a little worse for wear. The laser security system. Great. Those things will hurt more than your pride if you're careless. They'll cut you down to size and then some. But I'm guessing you've done this kind of thing before. Yeah, figure out the timing of the lasers. Then, make a move when they cycle off. Exactly. I'll go first. Nothing like a little danger to get the blood pumping. Or, I mean, you... You can squeeze in... Yeah, exactly. Excuse me? I, I would love to. Um, you can move around quickly by holding R1 or R2 to dash. So R2 is running. Okay. Um, just checking. But I mean, there's clearly a wide enough gap on the right to just go through. There we go. Don't know if Barrett just got hit by that because it was a bit slow on the draw. And then there's another set over here. Not too shabby. And that's easy. Wait, there's another set of lasers. You're doing good, so Can I open this? There we go. There we go. Potion and MP. Okay. I don't feel kind of like I've used MP just yet, but there we go. Up next, probably more lasers. And we're almost at our objective. That's good. Look. They don't call those things sweepers for nothing. They can wipe out a whole squad in seconds. Not if you wipe the floor with them first. Okay. Ha! We can take this oh, let's roll out of the way of that. If we rush in, we die. Is that right? We need to hit it with magic. That should give us an opening. So magic, you say? Let's use spells, but that's fire. I would think that. You can't... Oh, Barrett doesn't have any ATB gauge. I mean, I can use fire, but I don't think... Hitting enemies with certain attacks or dealing large amounts of damage will temporarily knock them off balance and pressure will appear underneath their gauge. When this happens, spell them with spells and abilities to quickly fill their stagger gauge. Once it is full, you can stagger them. 
The gauge fills faster depending on the abilities and magic used, as well as the foes fill their abilities. Find the most effective attack to quickly finish off each enemy. Uh, and then we can use abilities like Focus Trust. So it's still pressured and I can still do a Focus Trust. And then we get into Staggered. Enemies have been staggered, our defenses take more damage. Using unique abilities on a staggered foe will quickly boost your ATB gauge. Boost your ATB gauge quickly as you can to unleash, so you can unleash more abilities and spells, okay? No time to complain. And then let's do Bravery on top of it. I think that's gonna take it out, right? Oh, just not. I don't know what it did. It looked like it aimed upwards, but there we go. Sweeper defeated. Have we got another uh, Theft of Phoenix down? First. Huh? Soldier first class. Doesn't go into the 20s. What the hell are you talking about? I mean your age, not your goddamn right. I, uh... No fall, I know. A soldier's rank could be the same as his age. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Guess that make you a one-year-old, huh? You know what? I'm gonna boost up the dialogue audio a little bit, because it seems like it's a lot quieter than everything else. So everything was at maximum already, so I'll probably boost up the audio of the gameplay footage as well. Um, but I just take down the, the music volume and the VFX volume a little bit. So the voices come out more clearly. I hope that uh, that helps. Because I don't want to enjoy the story of this thing. Um, so, this seems like we're getting into a bigger area of the reactor. Yeah, there we go. Mako Reactor 1. That's probably it. The there we go. Core. The reactor Gotta core. The bomb at the bottom. Uh, okay. Boom. Set the charge. Are we doing the right thing here, by the way? Is that another box? No, it's just an orange flickery light. Never mind. Let's go down. Sorry about that. Heads up, boys. The end in sight. We'll leave the rest in your capable hands. Okay, Good I do luck. keep getting MP, but I've never been using it, so... Not that way. Down the ladder, dummy. Okay, sorry. Just, I'm just trying to explore. Aw, you're choosing me over the reactor? That's sweet, but I'll wait my turn. Go blow her mind. Uh, okay. I, I think Jessie needs to get some. She's uh really into cloud. I mean, I don't mind, but uh, since not, she's not exactly subtle about it. And let's just swirl around a bit with the giant blades to get these little things off our backs. Okay, I think I got hit by something. Where, where is it? There it is. Okay, did I just get... Oh, uh, Barrett. I mean, he doesn't do that on his own, apparently. Let's use a potion on Cloud. Because he seems to be uh, damaged a little bit because the turret I completely missed. Um, and keep heading down. There we go. All the way down to the lower level. The core. The core. Yes, let's do this. I'm sure there's nothing gonna pop up in this very large open area, which is clearly suited for a boss fight. There we go, the reactor. Nothing's gonna happen, right? It just looks like a big crank, by All the way. Right. Let's see if little Stamp really can bite the hand that feeds. Hmm. Go on, do the honors. Prove to me you're the man Tifa says you are. That you're one of us. Never said I was. I'm just here for the paycheck. Then do the damn job! Okay. Fair enough. Don't know what that's gonna prove after I just killed, like, you know... By now, about 20 soldiers. <laughs> with, in cold blood with my giant sword. And there we go, another headache. Are we gonna see something this time, or is it just for Cloud? A little black feather. 
I'm assuming that's probably a reference to probably the most famous bad guy in all of gaming. Sephiroth! What about the timer? You'll call, Merc. Um, 20 or 30 minutes. Ah. Uh, 20 minutes is cutting it close, of course, but let's go. Let's. I'm, I like to live dangerously. 20 minutes! Pretty cocky, ain't you? I mean, you could have given me advice. <gasps> yeah, there we go. Double crossing. double crossing, why? There's a giant robot trying to attack Heads me up. as well. And it's a scorp it's a giant scorpion robot. It's got reinforced armor plating, but the internals can be overloaded. Lightning magic. No other option. I'm trying to avoid it, but we barely scratched the damn thing. Um, can Didn't we? I tell you to use magic. Thought you were full of shit. Think whatever you want. Just do it. Because I don't have magic. Aha! But Barrett has thunder. Thunder on the Scorpion Sentinel. Hell yeah! You see the damage that did? Keep it up. And then I don't have thunder, so I just need to go with Focus Trust. He's pressured. So if I do that twice, because I have my ATB gauge build up. Is it still in punisher mode? No, now he is. There we go, staggered. And if I now switch back to... Uh, I can use abilities... No, not abilities, spells. Thunder, there we go. Scorpion Sentinel. And there we go. Fancy movement. I should probably heal up Barrett. Um, I'm just, ooh, I don't have an ATB gauge. So let's heal up Barrett. And then switch over to Clouds. And then let's do the... Oh, oh wow. Oh, that's a field. Bounce right off. Nice try, dumbass. Frontal assault's no good. <laughs> it's my time to shine. So I should probably use more thunder then. Huh? It didn't work. No, it didn't. I'm waiting. Want some more? Oh god, that's not good. Should probably use a potion on Cloud because he doesn't look good. Um, steel skin reduces damage taken and how easily you are interrupted. Focused shot. Let's try that. Oh, wow. I think I just got hit there. I think we're almost getting it down because I need to shoot... Some enemies will occasionally bind your party member with unblockable attacks. If your character is bound and unable to act, quickly switch to a different character. Yeah, indeed. You you say? Uh, focus shot. Funny way to ask for help. Ah. Hey, ain't that something you want to say to yours too? <laughs> if we don't change it up soon, this thing's gonna kill us both. So we need to kill that. Yeah, there we go. Now's our chance. Uh, let's focus shot. On the Sentinel, let's switch to Punisher mode. If it goes down at least. Where the fuck is it? Oh, there it is. I do love the music, by the way. Just keep firing at that generator. There we go. And then I can actually just use Focus Shot again. Um, let's switch. Uh, focus Thrust. I think I'm forgetting to use... Ooh, crap. Um, there's something flashing on Cloud. Limit. You know what that means? He's blowing out the ceiling for some reason. He's definitely hurting. You don't want to be hit by that laser. Huh? So what do we do? Don't get hit. Take okay. cover behind that debris. 
In the meantime, I'm gonna use my one gauge to actually heal up Barrett. There we go. Now, go. And then use Focus Trust. Taking damage and staggering enemies fills your limit gauge. When the gauge is full, there we go. You can use limit breaks, which are extremely powerful attacks. You do not need to spend ATB charges to use these attacks. Okay, so then I suppose that's... Um, how do I use that? Ooh, limit. Crawl slash on the Scorpion Sentinel. Oh, that's the EM field. Move, move, move. Ah, crap. I do get uh, another potion. Let's switch over. And then let's use... You know what? Spells. Thunder. Thunder worked well, right? And then let's use that again. Yeah, I know. So I think I'm gonna actually switch over to Barrett. Let's try that one more time and then pressure him into attacking. And then I can use Thunder on the Scorpion Sentinel again. And that's his weakness. It's almost down, I think. It feels like it's breaking down completely. Firing everything at once, probably not good. Oh, hey, what you doing now? Uh, healing. Damn it. We gotta take it out quick or we're screwed. <laughs> oh, I am way ahead of you, Merc. When I get my chance, I'm gonna blow this bastard to hell up. And that's a problem. Oh, you gotta love me. Let's use another... Ooh, I'm out of MP. Uh, MP is 4 out of 24. So I should probably use an Eater on Barrett and then swap over to Cloud. Since Cloud will now be able to do another Focus Trust on the left leg. There we go. I think... Oh, it's just, just not... Oh, come on. It's practically down. No, you don't, Cloud. You just gotta move. There we go. Scorpion Sentinel defeated. Cloud is now level 8. Whatever that means. I haven't seen a level up screen since, since the beginning. But apparently I'm already level 8. There it goes. Um, Uh-oh. I think it destroyed the reactor itself. Shit, the ball. Twenty minutes until detonation. Okay, so now it only starts the timer. I thought the boss fight was gonna be the timer, but apparently not. Bye. Wow. That was heavy. Huh, you hear that? Damn thing showed you how it's done. Come on, we've gotta move. Yeah, indeed. We should be covering our way out. Go, go, go! So we have 20 minutes to get out of this place. Which, um, I'm guessing it should be enough. I'm climbing through Barrett. Uh, Cloud, this is a little too close for comfort, I feel like. Your head is up his ass. Literally. I don't know why he's incorporeal at the moment, but let's keep going. No, no, I'm not gonna care about enemies. Since Barrett is also moving along. I should probably heal uh, Cloud the next time I get the chance. Yeah. Apparently I don't get the choice. I need to fight these things off because he doesn't want to go on the ladder. Climb faster, climb faster, climb faster. Well, a minute already passed and we spend a lot of time in this place.
Okay. That was a bit weird. I couldn't really see where we were. You okay? Do I look okay? Help a girl out, would you? Yeah, come on, get that rock off her. So My we can hair. get out of here. Hey! We'll link up over there! Look after Jesse! I don't know why the timer stopped. <laughs> Because the timer just sucks for no good reason. Come this way. Because in universe, this it's just should keep going. Probably. Probably. Okay. If you say so. There we go. Sliding down the ladder. Oh, more boxes. Potions are important, Jesse. There we go. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Running, running, running. Don't jump on top of our cloud. That's Come just... Ooh. I'm just gonna take my time opening this chest uh, before we move on. Two minutes done, and we're back at the door. There what it. is that even? Find us a way out of here. But then... Don't worry, I'll be fine. I've got Soldier Boy with me. Ah, so you're gonna? Okay. Fair enough. Ladies first. Soldier Boy. They're here. Take them down. We don't have time for this. Let's just get those mono drives out of the way. And let's do a focus trust on the officer. Should get there right on time. There we go. And there he goes. And then another focus trust on that mono drive. Just to get this down quickly. We're running. Forgot about the run button for a second there. There we go. Just keep on running, 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 running. There we go. Oh wow, another sweeper. You got that right. so, yeah. Is that it? And then use another thunder. That thunder out here? Hang back. Here we go. Keep it up. Let's kick it up and then do another thunder right on top of the sweeper. There we go. Quick and easy done. So let's keep running. Because that timer isn't going to stop. And I set it to 20 minutes for some reason. Maybe there's a reason you can put it that low. We do. We do. They just disappear, don't they? There that one goes. And then there's another one over here in the sky, apparently. Ow! I should probably heal up Cloud again. I got hit a little bit. I forget uh, about the guard button constantly. The double shock trooper. Um... Um, focused trust. Try this. Okay, these guys are a bit more annoying. Aha, okay, so that's that's cool. So I stagger them immediately if I block their uh, melee attacks. I need to, to heal the heal cloud and then swap over to uh, Barret to get the sentry raised down. I think just using a focus shot should kill that ult right. There we go. And then let's open up the elevator again. Don't know if that's going to work since basically the entire place is coming down. Come on, buddies. Uh, that was not the remaining time, but fair enough. So 20 minutes was more than enough. And there goes the reactor. Sir. Wait, are they? Whoa, okay. They're blowing it up themselves. Well, that is not normal. Hmm. 
So the bomb didn't do enough damage, so that's why they blew it up themselves? Come on, come on, come on, come on! <clears throat> huh, was he now just listening to Cloud's advice to chill out a little bit? That's interesting. Shows him growing just a little bit. Doors open. Yeah, okay. Sprint to safety. We don't have a lot of time here. Pick up the pace, people. Okay. Can you walk? Jesse goes down. I couldn't. Believe me, you'd be the first to know. So so, yes. so he can carry her. <laughs> I love Jesse. That was great. Ooh! Cloud. Don't worry about him, he's a super soldier. Just let him go. <laughs> let him do his thing. Okay, that was pretty cool. All right, Thanks. Come on. Ooh. Um. I'm guessing the giant green beam to, to the sky isn't good. And the fact that probably a lot of people died in that explosion. I don't feel too good about this, even though we weren't responsible for the big explosion. We just disabled it. And another bomb right next to the door to get us out of there. Okay. Oh, this is probably the end of the demo. Because we kind of get like flash forwards into what is going to happen. My cats are freaking out for some reason. Calm down. Ooh. Oh, I recognize that plaza from Crisis Core. Dee, 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 dee. But it kind of got me pumped. It's a really cool take on it. But what is happening now? Is that still part? Yeah, there we go. There he is. There he is. Even though I've never played this game, I of course know who Sephiroth is. And that's it, I suppose. There we go. That's a selective version to purchase. Uh, no thank you, so let's go back to this. Um, that's it, it's gonna be just one video then. So um, that's Final Fantasy VII Remake, the demo. Which is, yeah, cool. That's probably the first mission of the game, I would assume, because I think that the original game also started with this, even though I never played it before. Um, but yeah, I really liked it. It was cool, there was a really cool dynamic during the fights as well. The combat system is something I really, really enjoyed, especially if you compare it to some of the uh, the other Final Fantasies. I don't mind the real life, the, the, the live action, no not live action, real time combat system. Although you could pause it with the menu, which is a good middle ground I feel like. So, and the graphics are just stunning. I don't think anybody will disagree m with me on that. The graphics are just incredibly stunning. So really looking forward to this. I'm not sure if I'm going to do a full playthrough of this game. Um, because, you know, there's also some a, a little game in the making called Cyberpunk 2077, which is going to be my next big playthrough. And we're still doing the Outer Worlds as well, although I don't feel like people are that interested in watching me do that. But you can check that out as well. And we're still doing XCOM 2 Valkyrie. Um, on the channel too. So, hope you guys enjoyed this little nostalgia free playthrough of the demo for Final Fantasy 7. And uh, if you did, just leave me a comment in the comment section down below or a little like. I uh, appreciate any feedback you guys can give me. So, thanks enormously for watching and see you guys in the next video or series. Goodbye!